152-pound brackets here. We'll start with the North, and we got Zach Martin as a one seed. He's a returning state medalist from the Chamonix. He's undefeated on the season. Uh, Shane Kibler from Abington is our two seed. Uh, he's undefeated as well. Not gonna, don't need to get into the Abington guys and what they've gone through this year. But he's only got one match in. But uh, you know, gets the the two seed based upon uh, you know the, the successes he had prior uh, seasons, and uh, you know someone that. A lot of people have been talking about, and I'm excited to, to see wrestle, is uh, uh, Beckhurst Sabardinoff, and that's uh, Muhammad's younger brother. He's a freshman, freshman 152 pounds, and right now he's sporting a 16-0 record. And Luke Ricci from PV is uh, 7-1. He's a junior, uh, our top four seeds. Uh, but, you know, you look, you got some freshmen in this weight class, 152. You got Levi Borkowski, Borkowski from Methacton. Ryan Gallagher from Penridge is a freshman. Got uh, Wierzbowski from CB West as a sophomore, and Calvin Lackman from Quakertown, another freshman. So this weight class, again, this is some young talent we have here. And these are like big guys for freshmen, so that's that's also promising for, for District 1. But I think, um, you know, Zach Martin is the guy here at this weight class. I think uh, if he's healthy and everything goes well, he's uh, he's going to be the, the guy that wins tomorrow. And uh, we move on to, uh, you know, who you talk about being second, third, and fourth. Uh, I like uh, Savard enough to, in a match with Kibler in that semifinal round. I think they both get there. I think Ricky beats Gallagher in a matchup of two freshmen. Um, and then, you know, at, like I said, Kibler beating uh, Lackman and Savard enough beating Wierzbowski. Uh I like this freshman from Council Rock South. Saw him wrestling PJWs last year. And, uh, again, I think... His style of wrestling, his attacking style, it will be a little bit too much for Kibler uh, in a year where he hasn't wrestled a whole lot uh, of live uh, meaningful matches. Uh, I think that's just a difference maker right now. Uh, and then we move down to the uh, consolations on Borkowski and Gallagher. I think Gallagher beats Borkowski, but then loses to Kibler on that cross bracket out of the semis. Uh, Lackman gets the win against Wierzbowski uh, and then beats Riki as, as well to qualify for Regionals as a freshman coming out as a seven seed, uh, but then losing to Kibler for a second time on the day um, in uh, in a third place match. Uh, you know you have your top four again: Zach Martin from the Chamonix senior uh, remains undefeated. Uh, Beckruz Savardinov suffers his first loss, finishing second uh, from freshman from Council Rock South. Shane Kibler Jr. from Abington is your third place. Winner and Calvin Lackman, the freshman from Quakertown, uh, you know, punches ticket to regionals as a freshman, 152 pounds. So we dip into the 152 pound weight class in the South. This is one at top to bottom. I'm really excited about, and uh, you should be too. Uh, Chase Barlow, returning state qualifier for Strath Haven, is the one seed. Uh, Dil, um, Dominic D'Agostino is a junior from Interboro. He's the two. Zach Needles from Springford is the three. And Don Reimer from Haverford is the is the four. Uh, you also have Landon Meredith, who has an Oxford guy, hasn't wrestled a match. He's a return regional qualifier. Uh, this I think this weight class has a real opportunity to, to have some good matches. I think Barlow, Reimer, Needles, and D'Agostino all make it to the, the semifinals. Uh, I think Barlow gets the best of Reimer in, in that uh, you know centrally action there. And then in that D'Agostino-Needles matchup, I like Needles to, to win there. And then I do like Needles in the finals. I just uh, I had an opportunity to see Needles wrestle in person a few weeks back, beating Alan Alexander from uh, PJP, formerly of Boyertown. And, you know, he's a guy uh, in that Springford wrestling room uh, that uh, that just shows up to work every day, in my opinion. I, you know, I, I've talked to some of his coaches and, uh, you know, he's just uh, the ultimate team guy. I think this is the year like where, you know, he, he puts together, he got, you know, um, fell short of, of making states last year in a, in a tough weight class at, uh, at regions. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see him like kind of fulfill uh, what I, I've been saying about him for years um it seems like it seems like this class of of uh seniors at at springford have just been around forever between needles um mcgill who we'll talk about later and joey milano all came in together all have had success um you know mcgill and uh milano having you know some more success than needles but i think this is the year needles does it uh and and gets the uh 
uh, district championship and, and goes to you know regionals and puts himself in position to make a run and go in the states and, and maybe more. So let's take a look at this bottom half now because you, you put you know Diagostino's down there, Reimer's down there, uh, you know Meredith uh, regional qualifier. So you, you got guys that 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 can go that are now in this Russellback bracket. Uh, I think Gamble Williams and Meredith would be a good match. I think Meredith gets back to winning ways and, and gets a win there. Uh, ultimately though to lose to Dom Diagostino from Innerboro and then Barlow, McClellahan, uh, I think uh, McClellahan from Conestoga gets the win there, uh, but then loses uh, to uh, Reimer from Haverford in that uh, you know conference rival matchup, uh, and then D'Agostino beating Reimer to uh, take third place. Uh, this is like a, just a feeling I have, a hunch I have that Needles comes out of that four spot and, and wins this bracket tomorrow. Uh, you know, getting two big wins. Uh, I feel he's wrestling pretty confident at this point, and it's just looked really, really good up to up to um, you know this tournament starting. So that's what the way I see it falling tomorrow. Uh, again, as always. If and when I'm wrong, feel free to make me pay for it. Uh, you know, the good comes the bad. Uh, but if Needles wins, I'll make sure to remind everyone that you heard it here first. So that's uh, that's what we got for 152 pounds. Uh, please stay tuned and watch some of the other uh, previews as well.